Thanks, Jane. The headlines in the southeast today. The remarkable sea rescue off the Kent coast that helped bring a murderer to justice. A musical tribute to a life taken too soon. And it's another mild, dry day today, but it's turning cool and wet by the weekend. I'll have the details later in the programme. Hello, welcome to the programme. I'm Ellie Crissell. Dramatic footage of the moment a man was rescued while trying to flee across the channel in a dinghy after committing an horrific murder has been shown for the first time. Suleiman Altaf, who stabbed a 15-year-old boy to death as he tried to stop an attack on his mother, was arrested by Kent police in Dungeness after he was intercepted while trying to sail to France. Today, there was praise for the lifeboat crew who carried out the extraordinary rescue, which, unbeknownst to them, helped bring an on-the-run murderer to justice. Piers Hopkirk reports. He was laying on his back and he had a cycle helmet on, which was quite bizarre. Called to reports of a small boat in the busy channel, this was the extraordinary sight that greeted members of Dungeness's lifeboat crew. In our opinion, you're in danger. In a makeshift dinghy with a handheld sail, a man saying he was heading for asylum in France. Obviously, we're typically dealing with taskings with small boats that are generally come in the other direction. It didn't add up. But as they headed back to Dungeness, little did they know who they now had on board. A 15-year-old has died and his mother is seriously injured after a stabbing at a house in Manchester. Police are hunting for a man in connection with the incident. Suleiman Altaf had killed his ex-partner's teenage son in Manchester the day before. The RNLI rescue unwittingly ending a major manhunt. We weren't actually aware, sitting in the crew room, Jason, myself, and the casualty, that the police were actually physically at the station. Armed officers had swarmed the lifeboat station, waiting for the chance to safely carry out an arrest. Suleiman, put your hands up. All right, mate, you're under arrest for murder and attempt murder. You do not have to say anything. Altaf was subsequently jailed for 30 years. The RNLI says it remains committed to the role it set itself back in 1824 to value every life and save every one. Piers Hopkirk, BBC, South East Today. More than 500 people were detected crossing the channel in small boats yesterday, the highest number on a single day so far this year. Official figures collated by the BBC reveal the total number of people to have landed on UK shores in 2024 now stands at 4,043, higher than the same period last year, which was 3,683. There are fresh warnings to dog walkers to keep their pets under control in the countryside as this year's lambing season gets underway. Figures from the National Farmers Union show livestock worrying cost farmers in the southeast more than £100,000 last year. Comes as the Kent Wildlife Trust revealed several goats died recently after being chased by dogs. When a Sussex musician's son died at just 13 days old, his parents were plunged into unimaginable grief. Kit had died from the common cold sore virus. Had doctors realised, he could have been treated. Kit's mum began a charity to prevent similar deaths and his father, James de Malpaquet, got back with his band and started creating music about his experience. Claudia Sabasis reports. Sometimes I see you. Birds on the break of day the boy you would be now The blossoms of spring Sweet little ginger boy Written for his son, using words people said to console him James de Malplaquet shot the video at Cookmere Haven It's where Kit's ashes are He was a lovely little boy, a really beautiful little boy I remember one of the careworn midwives coming in saying, now that is a beautiful one. I'm sure they say that to a lot of people, but I took it. Luscious. This is the tree we have in Queen's Park. This is Kit's tree here. It's just starting to bud. Kit was born healthy. He went home for one night, but became unwell. Doctors were baffled. 
He died at 13 days. Only then did the cause emerge, herpes simplex, the common cold sore virus, despite neither of his parents having cold sores. We are actually suggesting that whenever doctors have an unwell newborn baby, they should be given the treatment for herpes simplex, just on the off chance that that is what they actually need. The miserable rich got back together to support each other through Kit's death, COVID, and sharing all their experiences. We had some rehearsals, um, which were, you know, beer and pizza and spilling your guts. And then um, after a while, it's like, it's kind of an album here. And I suppose what I was most surprised about is that there's a lot of joy on this record. Just another day, it will slip away. And this is Joy, a song to celebrate Kit's brothers, called simply Everything Bright and New. Claudia Sabazis, BBC South East Today, Brighton. Now, today, the 21st of March, is World Down Syndrome Day, which was chosen to signify the unique 21st chromosome which causes Downs. We've been hearing from the family of a six-year-old girl from Rochester with Down Syndrome who say her confidence has been transformed after starting music therapy. Kirstina Sullivan has the story. When Emmy started school two years ago, she found it tough to be away from her mum and would spend mornings in tears. Then her teacher referred her for music therapy. She's just blossomed so beautifully. Um, and as you can see, she's just got such a great little character and she's confident, but really sure of herself in her own skin. This is Emmy and Nikki's Shake and Stop song, something they made up together. It grounds her, and every session begins with Emmy grabbing a maraca and singing it. Yay. Mum Lauren has seen a huge difference. Emmy suffered from extreme separation anxiety, and after just a few music sessions, her confidence grew. She was so shy didn't really we had to use a lot of sign language with her but now she's literally really trying her best to use words communicate a lot when so many people have approached me so she's really speaking I'm like no it's lovely to see it really is really nice Emmy's now being encouraged to explore different instruments be creative and use her voice to sing Christina Sullivan, BBC South East Today. Now, oh, what a treasure. Now, time for a look at the weather forecast. Rachel is with us. So, spring arrived yes. and now it's going okay, again. Right. Although this weekend's <laughs> going to feel like March, yesterday felt perhaps a bit more like summer. Yesterday, we had highs of 19 degrees. That made it the warmest day of the year so far. Today stays mild, but temperatures once again around 13 or 14 degrees. So, still above the seasonal average, but not quite as mild as yesterday. We should be staying dry, but a weakening warm front is giving us more cloud cover as we head through the afternoon. We're still in this very mild um, as those winds from a southwesterly direction and temperatures still above the seasonal average at around 13 or 14 degrees. Always a bit cooler there along the coast. Now into tonight, largely we should be staying dry. You might just see some light patchy rain and drizzle and again very mild. Overnight lows there of around 8 or 9 degrees. So it's going to be a dry start to the day for Friday. Heading through the afternoon though, we've got a weakening cold front and that's going to be bringing northerly winds a much cooler feel as we look towards the weekend. So temperatures Friday, 11 or 12 degrees, feeling colder by Saturday with some blustery scattered showers. Nobody likes a cold no. front. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Uh, that's it from the lunchtime team. We're back at 6.30. Bye-bye. <laughs>